Hey everyone, this is Veronica. And I'm Darren. And we are? Married. For? <laughs> For, For good? Life. <laughs> For life. Today we're going to be reviewing the House of Floraiku, a sample set from them. Those of you that are familiar with Floraiku know that they have some of the most gorgeous bottles on the market but also some of the most expensive. They're each a work of art unto themselves, and they are $350 for a 50 mil. It also comes with a 10 mil atomizer and a pretty purse spray, but they're on the expensive side. I've been interested to try some of these. I've gotten a couple of decants from some lovely friends here on YouTube and have wanted to try more from this house. They are inspired by Japanese culture, in particular ceremonies that involve flowers, teas, and incense. Are you ready to jump in? I'm ready. So you get 11 samples in the set from across three collections from the house, and each of the bottles has a haiku poem. The samples come with this gorgeous insert that says what on it? Can you read, read the people the thing? It says the dark side of flowers, perfume as a poem. Floraiku. Floraiku. All it's right. A haiku. Floraiku is a haiku. Is it? Yeah. Is that what the name means? No, that poem was a, <laughs> was a... The poem was a haiku. We're going to start with Sleeping on the Roof, and Darren is going to read you the haiku. I'm not a professional at haiku reading. Sleeping on the roof, warm wind, shadows blow away. Ooh. All right. Tell us about the notes. Lily of the Valley, orange blossom oil, amber musk. Okay, let's try this out. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? You first. Okay, I think that it is equal parts little bathroom cleaner-ish, bathroom freshener-ish. You're saying it because I'm with you. Probably. You'd be like totally reserved if I wasn't here, wouldn't you? I don't know. <laughs> I think there's two things in there that are really, really nice. And one that doesn't belong. <laughs> and I agree with you on the bathroom cleaner. It's like, it's almost, it's almost there. One of these things is doing its own yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's a disruptor in the force that's. <laughs> <laughs> so here's how I feel. There's Lily of the Valley in it, which other people perceive as a very fresh, clean, crisp note. And I think just smells cold and metallic and weird. Here, I sprayed it on my finger. Yeah, same. Yeah. Same. So how do you rate sleeping on the roof? I would say a four and a half. What would you give it? Probably in the same range four or five. Now, if you do like Lily of the Valley, if that's your note, this is a great one for you. So the next one is one umbrella for two. I did have a decant sent to me of this from my friend Chris here at the Perfume Nest. And I really enjoyed it when I got it. So I'd be interested to hear what you think. I gotta do the haiku first. Oh, haiku. 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 Our eyes rot, whoa. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Our eyes raise to the sky. No rain. One umbrella for two. So there's no rain, but we have an umbrella for two. No idea what that means. It's black currant absolute, Gen Micha, Micha tea, and cedar oil. It's it's better than the last one. Much better, a thousand times better. Would you wear this? No. Would you like it on I, me? I get, I, get, I get the gourmand with the yeah, black currant. Yeah, it is gourmand. And y'all know I don't like gourmand <laughs> yes check out the keys video keys perfume video to get his thoughts on gourmand but it's overall it's 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 decent okay it's decent some people it's, say so if you like fruity mixed with cedar i think that they would like that some people say this smells like a blueberry mixed with tea Ooh, that's like that's a blueberry a, yeah. muffin with tea that's a good description right that's a very good description yeah I so would give it, i would give it a a, a five and a half to six. Okay. What would you give it? I would probably give the scent a seven or eight. 
I do happen to know that this one also doesn't last very long, so I'm a little biased considering the prices, but the scent itself is really pleasant. Seven or eight, one umbrella for two. Great name. Absolutely. This one is The Moon and I. And we forgot to say that this gorgeous insert comes with the sample pack that has imagery for each of the bottles, which is really cool. Definitely, definitely check out the website. As I go through, I'll be posting, as you oh. can see already, the bottles here on the video for you to see because they're really, really, really pretty works of art. Oh, cool. The, uh, the Moon and I, Secret Teas and Spices. All right, here's the haiku. In this world of dreams, the moon and I, contemplating night flowers. It's mm. got mate absolute, matcha tea, and cedar oil. All right, let's spray it. Spray. I could, okay. Ooh, I can taste it. I, I like got it. it in the back of my mouth. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it's like back in here. It's good. You it's like start? a super floral tea. Oh, okay. I would give it, I would say it's a, I like it. Ding, ding, ding. I like it too. A little musky. The tea is the musky, a little bitter. I'm going to sacrifice a finger here. But it's got. See what it smells like on the skin. flowers. It is reminding me of Aveda hair products. Like you walk into a salon, an Aveda salon that's spa smell. It has a hint of bug spray. I'm not going to lie. It does. Well, that's the, I think that's the tea. A little bitter, a little bitter, but I, yeah. I, I think it works for me. It's not a sweet, girly fragrance at all. See, I would give it a seven. It's of the three. It, to me, it's. I think, I think that's it's about the most right. refined of the three. Refined. Yeah, I yeah. like this. I would agree. Seven is good. The moon and I. It's a winner. The next fragrance is called "I Am Coming Home." We're gonna have Darren, the poet, read you the haiku. You okay there? <laughs> Sport. <laughs> Secret teas and spices. So it should be like the other one. Um, so you think. Shivering lights far away. Tonight, I am coming home. Ooh. Ginger oil. Sounds kinky. White tea. Cardamom oil. I'm kidding. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> No, that smells like a spa. Because I get eucalyptus oil. Yeah. What are the what are the notes in it? Did you read that already? I did. Try I it did. again. Ginger oil, white tea, cardamom oil. Now that the like initial get, blast has worn off. I get eucalyptus. Read it. Read it. <laughs> Smell it on my finger. <laughs> Smell my finger. Where? <laughs> Okay, I like to smell like this. I don't know if you remember all of those oils that I bought, again, from who? Aveda. Mm -hmm. um, you didn't like a whole bunch of them. They were like super concentrated citrusy smells or menthol -y kinds of smells, eucalyptus -y, that whole family of spa type of essential oils. Um, this reminds me a lot of that. I like it. It's not a sexy or girly smell. Um, it's not sweet. It's not a human smell. I, I, I would love. <laughs> it's not a what it's smell? It's not a human smell. It's, it, <laughs> I would love my house to smell like this. Oh, like a candle. Or a linen spray. Yeah. It's wonderful. Like it's a. It's very It's clean. like a nine or a ten as a linen spray. And like mm. this is what you would want your home. So like it's a wonderful smell. Yeah. I don't know if it's wonderful perfume though. It smells different on skin too. A little bit different. I smell a lot of the ginger, like a really highly concentrated ginger smell. With though, there's some undercut of like the bug spray thing too. Yeah, I'd give it a six. We started going up. Now I'm gonna be influenced and say like six and a half or seven. I might've said something more like a seven or an eight, but now that I hear you say that, definitely a lovely concentrated candle smell. Um, and a fragrance that I would love to wear in an office setting or if I'm running around, but not for like a date night or anything like that. I don't think you would think I was smelling sexy if I wore this. Not no, even close. But it's pleasant. I yeah. love the name of the next one. I see the clouds go by. Enigmatic flowers. I see the clouds go by. 
indifferent to the tea picker's song. Cassis absolute, cherry blossom, and white musk. Mm. Spoiler alert. That's good. That's nice. That's good. Very nice. I get the, the I don't know what white musk is, but that's... <laughs> but it smells, it smells like, like it to you. It's very musky. It's white musky. cherry blossom kind of tones I, it down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. It's a really soft cherry blossom. Oh, this is very pleasant. I don't know. Do you remember me trying a decant called Sakura and it had cherry blossom in it and you thought it smelled really pleasant? That's another decant I got from Chris at the Perfume Nest. Does it ring any bells for you? If no, that's We okay. only try like 30 a day, so <laughs> yes, I totally remember. But it, it's for those of you that know Sakura, I think it's Dior, uh, it has that sort of vibe, which I think that also has cherry blossom in it. I think this is really pleasant. That is, it's pretty. This is like a eight or a nine. Yeah. By far the best so far. Do you think, would you consider, would you consider wearing that? Or do you no, think it's all feminine? Very feminine. Yeah. It's very girly. I would start, I think it would smell good on you very, too, yes, but I understand feminine. why you wouldn't want to wear it. It's really nice. In, I see the clouds go by. Score. No, babe, we already did this one. What, what would you, <laughs> I said a nine. Eight oh, a nine. nine. Okay. Eight or nine. I hope you edit some of this. I will be editing. No, I won't. Edit. Um, <laughs> I would say this is a good eight. Yeah. yeah. Very, very nice fragrance. This is one that one. I would actually consider uh, purchasing. Or being gifted. Gifted. Like on the Christmas list. <laughs> the next Jesus. one is called Cricket Song. What a cool name. Cricket Song. Cricket Song. So, enigmatic flowers that's the name of the collection by the way the name at the top there so this is part of the enigmatic uh, flowers collection cricket song walking in the darkness a cricket song how torrid the heat is mm. bergamot oil magnolia oil beverage oil okay very pretty bottles the bottles are works of art they really are quite pretty Hmm. Well, okay. I get the magnolia. Ooh, this is. You like it? Yeah, this I like this. Would you consider wearing this? No. <laughs> no, this is exceptionally feminine. It is very floral. Does it smell berry-like to you? Even though there aren't any berries in there, let me see the notes. Maybe again. a tiny bit, but I get I get a bouquet of flowers. You do? I do. I do. That's the that's the first thought I have is. Wonderful bouquet of flowers. Bouquet, I get like bouquet. a little raspberry, blueberry thing, but it is That's nice. That's the magnolia, because magnolia to me smells lemony. Does it? It smells very um metallic to me. Oddly. Mostly, usually. This kind is of, nice. sort of. This is another <laughs> eight or nine for me. Cricket We need to try it on the, on the skin. That's, yeah. yeah that and the clouds go by, we, we need to try on you. Yeah. That is very nice. Very nice. Cricket song. Again? Score? Yep. What would you rate cricket song? Did we do this already? Yeah. Yeah. Eight or nine. <laughs> Early onset dementia here. Okay. And I would probably give it a good eight. The next one is first dream of the year. And before you read the haiku, I just got to say like, 10 for creativity on the names, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Excellent names. Really, really creative. So, what's read us the poem. First dream of the year. First wish. The Milky Way above. Got grapefruit oil, orange blossom oil, and iris concentrate. Oh, concrete? Absolute. Iris concrete? What the heck is iris concrete? And what is absolute? I just think of absolute vodka. I don't know. <laughs> Like the thing in its purest form. Your peeps will let us know, right? I'm sure. I get roses. Mm hmm. Well, that's pleasant. It's very nice. Also has yeah. the potential to go into air freshener territory, though, do you think? Mm -hmm. But like, not there. It is, it's nice. Would yeah. you like to wear that? I'm getting worried. You keep asking me to wear these unbelievably feminine <laughs> scents. I didn't tell you to put it on. I said, would you like to wear like, it? I even think I'm of asking, asking that question. Very feminine. 
Very nice. What would you rate that? I would give it a seven or eight, like seven and a half. On my skin, I get a lot of the grapefruit. You're right. I would probably give this a solid like six. It's well, a under very... skin, I would go for a six too. Because it's more of the grapefruit. On paper, it was better. Yeah. Not a particularly unique scent, if you ask me. It's a really nice citrus, but there are others out on the market that smell like this. Heavy on the grapefruit. First dream of the year. Great name. Next is my shadow on the wall from the Forbidden Ooh, Incense nice. Collection. We just sprayed it. We all both agree that it's nice. Go ahead. It's nice. Okay, haiku. Pale summer moon. Oh, silence. My shadow on the wall. I don't know what's in here, but it's giving me the vibe of there's a green paste called Recaito that Goya makes, the company Goya. It's this really green herbaceous smell and you scoop it into stews and things like that. Does it smell like cilantro to you at all? Like mashed up cilantro with other spices in it? You know that to me. <laughs> Do you like this? I like it. I'd, I'd give it like a seven and a half to an eight. Mm -hmm. I'd give this uh, probably a six or a seven. It reminds me somewhat of the decant that I got from Richard Keycott of the fragrance Shamal. I don't think you were crazy about that one, but I liked it. It smells very herbally to me. Next is Sound of a Ricochet. Sound of a Ricochet. Part of the... A red dragonfly under the burning sky. The sound of a ricochet. Mm. Vanilla absolute. I'm not going to like this. Tonka bean absolute. Tonka. And sandalwood. Oh, it's got my my most favorite and my least favorite scents together. Boy, it's all tonka bean. <laughs> Can I spray it on you? No. <laughs> nope. I do not like tonka bean. What's your scent of the day, Darren? Oh, what I'm wearing? Yeah. God, it's good. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> He's wearing cedar and acacia from Scents of Wood. And if you saw my latest haul video, it was in there and it smells amazing. It's you a, need to get it's a, that. It's a solid 10 out of 10. Absolutely. No fractions. No, fr <laughs> no fractions. No nine point anything. It's a... Big money, no whammies. <laughs> what do you think? Did we just ask you that? I swear I'm God. losing my mind. Babe. Yes. You just, I told you. No me like Tonka Bean. <laughs> I like Tonka Bean. I like Tonka. I like Tonka trucks. <laughs> I don't like Tonka <laughs> Bean. I think I like this. Would I wear this? I would absolutely wear this, but you wouldn't like it on me. It smells what? Gourmand. No, it smells like a Tonka Bean. Tonka's a gourmand note. That's what I said. <laughs> So score? Five. I would go with a six or a seven for Sound of a Ricochet. This is a like for me, but not, not in his category of loves. So the next one is My Love Has the Color of the Night. My Love Has the Color of the Night. A firefly in the swimming pool's light. What the heck does that mean? Oh no, that one's trying too hard. It's a little abstract. Gaiacic mm. noise? How do you... Gaiac oil? Gaiac oil. Patchouli oil. Devoteur oil. Again, if this was a candle, 10 out of 10. It has, again, that essential oil smell, like a very menthol-y kind of smell, don't you think? Almost medicinal? Almost, but it's, it's, it's subtle. I mean, it smells good. The question is, is it going to make you smell good? But it does smell very pleasant. I would wear that to like, and I don't even do this often, but I would wear it to, to like meditate or something. It's a very medicinal, clean, spa-like smell. It reminds spray, me, spray it on you. It reminds me of oils that are used to do massages. Yep. Almost like a hint of like tiger balm. That's a little much. I don't... Was that a little harsh? That's a little harsh because it's tiger balm is overpowering, but this is pleasant. It is pleasant. It smells better on paper. 
You must rate it. I don't know. There's a little bit of woodiness. That's the Gaiac oil. Yeah. It's woody medicinal. I kind of like it. It's a little funky. It's different. I don't know that I want to smell like that to be pretty and girly. I. It's a smell that I would like to bathe in and smell like fresh out of the shower. Yeah. But not in a soapy way. There's nothing soapy about it. It's menthol-y and woody. I love it because it's unique and different. So yeah. the uniqueness factor is high on this to me. Yeah, I think give it a seven. It smells slightly like that sample of Mississippi medicine. I don't know if you remember me spraying that. I would give this for the uniqueness factor, uh, probably an eight and a half ish. Um, it's different. There isn't a lot like this out on the market. The next one and the last one is Between Two Trees and it's part of the Dark Shadow Collection. Bum, bum, bum. The owl is watching. Twilight. Between two trees. Grapefruit oil, mate absolute, and vevator oil. Smells like a very high-end spa. I'm going back to the, the spa thing. The spa thing. You smell very spa-like. Yeah. You know, they're all great. To wear doing yoga and, and meditating. They're very, mm -hmm. very, very soothing. Yes. Very calming. They're not, only like two of them, I would say, be date night perfumes. Like one umbrella for two, the blueberry yeah. smell? Yeah. The rest are... If you were to go walk in the woods or meditate or something, this would be great. This is nice on your skin. I think it's kind of beautiful. It's evolving, really complex, mm -hmm. multi-layered, multi-dimensional. It's aging well. It's aging I would give it well. A, I would give it an eight. Yeah. I would even maybe go into the eight and a half, nine territory. I think, it's, this is I really think, nice. I think this is turning into a date night perfume. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so this has actually been really fun. I have enjoyed this a lot and we'll give our final thoughts of the house overall in just a minute. But Darren and I actually picked out the top three together and we agree that the top three are as follows. The first one is I see the clouds go by. Most, most floral. Yeah. Really pleasant. Really, yes. really pleasant. The next one is my shadow on the wall. And you definitely get the cherry. Blossom. With um, some wood, some <laughs> like cedar the next one is my love has the color of night and that actually is the most masculine of the three is that the one that has the patchouli the vetiver and i think the gaiac oil I think it so. is the most masculine but i i think that is one of it's my the most favorite. um Essential oil, that's what I was trying to, essential oil smell. Yeah. yeah, I could see of all the collection that we just tried, I could see you smelling like this one the most. Because it's the woodiest and the most masculine right. of the bunch. Yes, true. So. Floraiku, I have to say that this has been a pleasant surprise. I had a bit of a bias coming into this because these are so expensive that if you watch my videos, you know that once you get past a certain price range, my expectations are really high if you're going to be charging those kinds of prices. I have to say that these have been incredibly pleasant and smell very high quality. Do you agree? I agree. A lot of yeah. thought. It looks like, you know, a lot of thought through everything. The marketing, the names, the haikus, the collection, yeah. the bottles. There's artwork accompanying the bottles. Just mm -hmm. a tremendous amount of thought. Yeah. I think every scent is... You know, except for maybe one was extremely well edited. Mm -hmm. And it's a good way to put you know, it. Yes, there's a lot of, you can tell there's a lot of etching. Things seem to go well together. Um, they all smell extremely pleasant. The, the only thing I struggled, there's a couple that I felt I would love for my house to smell that way. I don't know if I'd want you to smell that way. And, mm -hmm. and there was a, a bit of a difference between smelling the paper versus when you applied it. So yeah. I think. It's definitely one of those things where you'd want to play around with and wear it for the day and see how it, because they, they seem to change once on the skin and, yeah. and probably will change after some time. But very well done and definitely worth, I, 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 I'm glad you got that. That that was really good and it's, it's a good collection. 
Yes, I would agree. I love the idea that out of the 11 fragrances that we tried today, there were maybe two that weren't ones that we gravitated toward, but they certainly didn't smell bad. They just weren't for us. And the other nine were really quite nice. Impressive. Yeah. yeah, really yeah. impressive. So I personally love that whole like spa-like smell. And yeah, it would be great if we could waft that through our entire house, have our house smell like any one of these. They're really quite beautiful. You know, you know what a good description of these? They're all very natural smelling. Yes. There's nothing, you know, like a lot of perfumes smell like a perfume. Yeah. But these all smell organic. Mm -hmm. Like I smell a flower or I smell the tea or I smell the grapefruit. So, and I think that's more difficult to, to get a, a scent made that's so natural, yeah. organic. I think they call it's called floor, photorealistic when the scent mimics closely the thing found in nature. Hmm. And doesn't smell synthetic, fake, plasticky, or whatever, like a chemical mess. You're smelling really natural, concentrated, natural, yeah. smells from nature. And that's why we were probably thinking about like the the yoga and the, the hiking <laughs> and the, the, yeah. the meditation because they're, they're actually quite relaxing smells. Yeah. yeah. So we give this house a thumbs up. Overall, a house worth exploring. Highly urge folks to get the sample set and check these out for yourself. Beautiful little uh, works of art these bottles are. Uh, and hope you enjoyed our video. Bye. Bye.